most people know you from anyone but me. Yep. And we certainly got um, a lot of messages from um, the fans, actually, of both shows um, when we announced you uh, guest starring on the cast. So what's it been like working with Rachel again? Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. I mean, Rachel and I have been friends for years. We actually uh, went to the same acting school for college. We both graduated from Mason Grove School of the Arts, which is part of Rutgers. Um, and so we've known each other for a very long time. It feels like, you know, we're sisters. Um, so getting to work with her is always wonderful. She's so um, generous as an actress and just she's a wonderful person in general. So it's always a treat. Um, so with anyone but me, um, I guess you kind of started right at the beginning and the beginning of the show. Um, and right. with, you kind of come in, I think it was the fifth episode, four or five, something like that. It was like in the middle of the series. Right. So what was it like kind of coming into the show in the middle? Um, I guess to some extent a little bit intimidating just because, you know, like you said with ABM, I was... They're kind of working from the ground up. Um, I knew everyone, and um, it was, you know, comforting kind of to just start from the beginning. Um, but at the same time, just after watching the, the first few episodes of Producing Juliet and knowing Tina, of course, um, I was sure that all of the people that she had working with her were going to be just as wonderful as she is. Um, and, of course, having Rachel there was comforting as well. So, um I, I guess at first, you know, the first step in was kind of like, oh, I hope that they like me. I hope they like working with me. And I hope that I um, bring everything that they, you know, need to the show in that sense. Um, but they were all so wonderful, so welcoming and fun and warm. And so it just ended up being wonderful for me. Okay, so your character is a playwright. Is that yes. right? She's a playwright. And she's good friends with Juliet. So. When we first meet um, Lainey, it's the opening of her play um, and kind of a reunion for her and, and uh, Juliet. It's interesting um, because obviously there are plays within this show um, and we've had quite a number of them uh, within the season. So have you got any idea what your play's about? <laughs> so funny you ask. Um, no. <laughs> No. I don't think I thought very, isn't that terrible? Oh my gosh, as an actor, I, I really should have thought about that, but I just, I haven't thought about it really. Um, no, I would say, I assumed that it was a dramatic, something dramatic, because Lainey to me reads as a kind of a drama, you know, more serious um, character, I think, similar to Juliet, which is probably why they're such good friends. Um, but other than that, I didn't really delve too deep into what I thought the play was about, per se. Don't tell Tina. <laughs> <laughs> like many of the other kind of cast members, they're all in the theatre. So I know that Alicia and Chinaza and Rachel, um, they're all in the same kind of theatre company. So are you from a theatre background too? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, growing up, I did a lot of musical theater because I'm a singer as well. Um, so all through high school, I was heavy in the musical theater world and then decided to go to Mason Gross, which is really just straight acting. They have no musical theater there. And we actually really didn't tackle film until our, our fourth year of college. Um, so film has always been... Uh, much more of um, a challenge for me just because of course having the background in theater um, everything I do is big and I'm used to it being just very you know large and dramatic and so on set Tina would say okay Lex you know you got to pull back a little bit like you're not on stage pull back we can see everything you're doing <laughs> so um, yeah that's always been kind of a challenge I mean I I like to rise to that challenge and I enjoy working in film um, but it's definitely taken some time for me to get used to it. And do you have a preference for which one you prefer, sort of stage or screen? I prefer stage. I definitely prefer stage, just because um, I think that there's nothing like having a live audience. Um, with film, you know, you can kind of stop and go, oh, you forget your line, you know, cut, whatever it might be. But for stage, you can't, you can't hide behind anything. You know, you're, it's all the way live, and if something goes wrong, you really have to think on your feet and, and work with what you got, and just getting the, the energy from the audience is so, um, such a powerful and exciting experience. So I definitely would say that's, 
that's definitely my preference, being on stage. Well, I hope we still get to have you for a few more episodes yet. <laughs> I hope so, too. I hope so, too. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so what do you have coming up this uh, 2015, New Year? 2015, yeah. Um, well, actually, right now I'm teaching and directing at Paper Mill Playhouse, which is a theater in New Jersey. Um, so I work with young kids and high school students, um, and I do that a few afternoons a week. And um, I also recently just started a film company with one of my friends, um, it's called Iris, and um, we only have one film out uh, so far, but he is actually a music producer, um, so he writes music and, and beats and stuff like that, and um, I decided I wanted to try my hand at writing and directing a little bit, so I write the, the screenplays and direct, and then he does all the original music, um, and so the first... Uh, film we have out, which is called Stalker's Mark, we released last year, and I actually ended up acting in it as well, but um, that's kind of the next thing I'm moving into. I mean, I, I think I'll always love to perform and be on stage or be in the film, but I'm finding that I'm really falling in love with being on the other side of things as well, so writing a little bit more and... Um, and directing, kind of getting to be like the puppet master that kind of controls everything is really um, juicy and delicious for me right now. So that's that's what I'm getting into. Coming into January and through the next year, I'll be um, casting some of our, our upcoming films and that kind of stuff. Thinking hypothetically through to season two, if you could uh, tell Tina what, you know, might might be kind of Lexi's future in in that season. Um, well, I guess, what are your hopes for your character? <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we add another another element to the love triangle. And maybe Rachel falls in love with me, and I fall in love with Rachel, and <laughs> and then Rebecca and Laura run off, and I don't know. <laughs> I can't keep up, honestly. Like with the. <laughs> I feel like I should be drawing this on a wall or something, like who's into who, and you know, Evan and Rachel, and uh. right, right. I don't know. We'll see. I, you know, to be honest, I never, even with ABM, you never really knew where Tina was going with things, and, and of course, Susan was, you know, a writer on that as well. Um, but I have complete faith in Tina. I mean, she, her writing is amazing and real, and and just so beautiful that whatever she does, whether I'm in it or not, you know. I'm sure is going to be awesome. So 